Uh, previously, we've talked about um, the idea of dealing with uh, the binomial expansions using the binomial theorem. Now, how can you directly find the nth term? What that means is, let's say you have uh, 2x plus y. Let's set the power 10. Now, let's say they ask you to find, for example, the 6th term. How do you do it without necessarily expanding everything from like n0 all the way up to like n5? Of course, why am I saying n5? It's because we understand that the first term is begins with a 0 there. So we end with 5 if we are trying to find the 6th term. So each time they ask you to find the, the value of the nth term, r is going to be less by 1. So that means if I ask you to find the 100th term, know that the value of r on the bottom is going to be 99. Okay, so how do you do that without having to expand everything? So I've already given you like a tip. So n minus n r as uh, your binomial coefficient and then if you have a plus b which are usually what we use to represent let's say the power n so your a is going to be the power n minus r and then your b just to power r i believe you're now getting conversant with this expression okay let me try to give you a form of a number so that maybe you can get it again 4 and let's say you add a 4 and a 1 when it comes to the expansion there it's going to be uh, your a that you have the power 4 minus 1 and then your b is just going to be the power 1 so it's like the b part matches the up with r and then the a part is the difference of the two i think that will help you to remember if you've not yet gotten hold of that Okay, so with that understanding, I've said the value of r is always going to be less by a 1. So if I've asked you to find the 6th term, what do we expect to do? So your value of n is going to be what uh, the expression is raised to. So in this case, our value of n is 10. So you have 10. Your value of r is going to be less by a 1. So 6 is a 6th term. So minus 1 gives us a 5. What I'm trying to say is r is equal to n minus 1. Because we start from 0. So if you move there, 10, 5. Now our a in this case is 2x. So say 2x n minus r what does n minus r mean we say the difference between 10 and 5 so it will be 10 minus 5 and then b in this case is our y now y is going to raise the power r which is 5 in this case okay so at this point i understand it's not a struggle for you to basically simplify that because i've already explained what 10 choose 5 mean or 10 combination 5 so if calculator is allowed that's even easier for you but in case where calculators are not allowed we said it's 10 factorial over the difference 10 minus 5 factorial and then 5 factorial 2x 10 minus 5 is just going to be 2x to the power 5 and then y to the power 5 Okay. Let's see what we're going to have. So, at this point, we have 10 factorial. So, we the, the highest value we have on the bottom is 5 factorial. So, I'll reduce 10 all the way up to 5 factorial, which is to be like 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. 5 factorial. 5 factorial is representing the numbers all the way up to 5, the product. So 10 minus 5 is also 5 factorial, 5 factorial. So one of the 5 factorials 
is going to cancel out or divide in other terms. So 5 factorial can be expanded since we can't cancel it with anything. I'm just trying to give you ideas on what you need to do in cases you have such expressions without calculators being allowed. So 5, there it gives us a 2. Um, 4, there it gives us a 2. 3, there it gives us a 3. 2, there it gives us a 3. I hope all oh, oh, my calculations are okay here. So, 3 times 2 is a 6. 3 times 2 is a 6. Okay. So, what are we remaining with now? 6 times 6, 56. Now, we have 56 times 7. So, 56 times 7. 6 times 6 is 56. 56 plus 6. Is 42 so 7 times 6 is 42 so you write uh, a 2 carry a 4 7 by 3 is 21 plus 4 25 so 252 I hope I'm right there are videos where I've made mistakes with, with such calculations 2 to the power 5 is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 5 times 2 times 2 is a 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. 2 times 2, 4, times 2, 8, 16, 32. So we have multiply by 32, x to the power 5, y to the power 5. So you can multiply your 32 and 252. You'll be able to get your final solution. So this is just like an introduction to how you go about finding the NIF term. Now, for the sake of your practice, uh, I want you to try out this one. And then just like be willing to share the solution with the tutors or in the comment section. 1 plus y over 3. Okay. And then raise the power 10. I want you to find the 6th. Again, not the 6th this time around. Let me say, find the 8th term in that expansion. Find the 8th term in that expansion. So that is your understanding. Try to see if you've understood how to, how to go about finding the the nth term.